The Certificate of Origin is a document issued by an exporter that confirms and certifies the country of origin of its products. Or it might be a separate letter or form confirming that the country of origin is as stated on the commercial invoice and certifies the document is true and correct. I'm Kari Crane, editor of Shipping Solutions International Trade Blog Passages. A certificate of origin is a common export document, but there are different types depending on your export shipment. I'll explain how to use a generic, electronic, and free trade certificate of origin. But first, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our basics of exporting videos, sharing practical advice for exporters and importers. A generic certificate of origin, one that is not created to demonstrate that goods qualify for a free trade agreement preferential treatment, should accompany almost every export because it might follow the product through its life, including re-export. It is documentary evidence that the goods originated in the country stated in the certificate, commercial invoice, or packing list. Customs authorities expect the certificate to be a separate document from the commercial invoice or packing list. Customs authorities do not typically require it to be signed by the exporter, but if it is, it does require the signature to be notarized. The customs authorities in the country of import may require that a chamber of commerce add its proof of review to the exporter certificate of origin through the addition of the chamber's official embossing stamp and the signature of an authorized chamber representative. Most countries also accept the Electronic Certificates of Origin, or ECOs, that have been electronically signed by a Chamber of Commerce, who then registers the legitimacy of the certificate with customs authorities around the world. Using an ECO can be faster and less expensive than paper certificates. With Shipping Solutions Professional Export Documentation and Compliance Software, you'll have free access to the Document Determination Wizard if you need help determining if the country you're exporting to requires a certificate. A certificate of origin may also be required if a letter of credit is involved in your transaction. Electronic certificates of origin are secure, easy to use, and fast. With an ECO, you can submit the required documentation online and get an electronic certificate stamped by a Chamber of Commerce in less than a day, or if you prefer, receive an expedited paper certificate overnight. We've partnered with American World Trade Chamber of Commerce, whose certification staff is accredited by the International Chamber of Commerce, World Chambers Federation. Look for a link below if you're interested in creating an ECO. FTAs and TPAs made by the US don't typically require a specific form be used to prove origin and don't require review by a Chamber of Commerce. Instead, they identify the information that must be included on a certificate of origin or some other document like the commercial invoice to prove that the goods qualify for preferential duty rates. Exporters, producers, and importers usually use an appropriate certificate of origin template to ensure all the required data is included. You can download a free certificate of origin template for each of the US FTAs on our website. Look for a link below. FTA and TPA certificates of origin should be signed by an individual at the company providing the certificate which could be the manufacturer, the exporter, or the importer. The signature does not need to be notarized. If you liked this video, like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more videos sharing real practical advice for exporters. You'll also find hundreds of articles about every aspect of exporting at shippingsolutions.com blog. Look for a link below.